Hi Libra, welcome to your general love reading for mid-February 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Libra. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. However, you can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, Libra, let's see what is going on with you. Second half of February. Right. First two cards are the main situation. This top row is your energy. Second row is another person's energy. And the potential outcome is the last card out. All right, so for the main situation here, we have the Ace of Pentacles crossed by Temperance. Okay, so there is this potential here, right? There's this, I feel like it, it feels like there was a potential or there is a potential, um, but it feels like it kind of stayed there as a potential, um, not really moving forward. Um, there's a lot of patience that somebody is possibly learning during this time. And it could be that there's also a lot of healing happening at the same time. Um, I know that's not the funnest of energies to be in, but that's what I'm seeing here. All right, that's also, a, um, I was about to say Aquarius, so that might mean something to somebody, but it's Sagittarius um, that's showing up here. For your energy, we have the Page of Swords, Strength, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so that's also Leo. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo, or you might have strong Leo in your charts. It's like, okay, you're curious as to what might be going on with the other person. I feel like you do have this interest in finding out possibly certain things. But you're holding back big time. And I feel like, you know, um, it might be taking a lot of strength for you to do that. Or maybe it's taken a lot of strength for you to get to this point that you are now where you have set up some boundaries or just like build up this wall around you. We'll see more when we clarify. For them, we have the Three of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, it feels like there's either waiting, waiting, procrastination, something. But it feels like whatever this is on their side, this procrastination or this waiting, possibly to release some kind of a burden, um, it's, it's a little bit deceptive to their own self. It's kind of like they're they're winning something, right? They're gaining something by procrastinating, but they're actually losing more than what they're gaining. For the potential outcome, though, we do have the fool. Okay, so that is taking a risk, taking a jump, a leap of faith here. Let's see. Let's clarify. Let's see the Ace of Pentacles with Temperance. The Six of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and Strength. So Leo showing up again. There's a lot of holding back, um, just overall, from this new path that could be taken, this new potential. This is a deep soul connection that you have with somebody, and I feel like there's a lot of nostalgia. But I feel, I, it does feel like it's this person holding back. It could be you. Roles could be reversed. But it does feel like it is them. Because there's this drive to want to move forward, right? To come in as this Knight of Cups. But even with strength being here, I see it as um, that's part of the, the, um, the challenge here. That's the obstacle. It's like using strength, but in a in the way of restraining oneself. However, it's like during, during this process though, there is some healing that is happening. 
I feel like there's this person has to is learning how to find their inner balance and find this like like the middle spot where they feel balanced enough in order to um, take a step in this towards this potential. Hmm. Let's see the page of swords for your energy here. We'll get two cards. We have death and we have the ace of wands. Okay, yeah, so it does feel like there's been some kind of an ending here. It's not clear who initiated the ending and it doesn't really matter. Um, but there's definitely some kind of an ending that you are open to actually reverting. Like, um, you're open to reigniting this connection, to opening it back up. But again, you're, you're holding back though too. Um, let's see strength. The Hermit and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so yeah, you're holding back, but at the same time you are also learning strength. You're you're gaining strength. This this whole situation is making you stronger. It has made you stronger. And it's helped you to learn a lot about yourself. Um, I actually feel like There's a lot that you're still clearing up though from within as to what might be going on here within you, not so much with the other person. You are interested in what's going on with the other person, but at the same time, it's like you're clearing up things from within your own self. I feel like you're actually um, discovering that you're stronger than what you thought you were. Let's see the seven of wands. The Seven of Pentacles and the Magician. Okay, so you're you're holding back, right? You're it's like you have this you you've set up some boundaries and I feel like not only to the other person, I actually feel like this has more to do with your own self. Kind of like you you set some rules and boundaries to your own self, like telling yourself, you know, I'm only going to do this if this and this happens, or um, I'm only allowing myself so much of this energy or giving this much energy to this person. Um, I don't see it as, as being a bad thing. I actually feel like there's something in this, there's something through this process that is, it's helping you. It's helping you to move forward and it's helping you to gain um, some strength or to realize your own strength. It's like it's helping you to organize something within your own self. Like again, it's, it's, it's like something is clearing up and because of that, you're creating, right? You're manifesting like a stronger version of your own self. see what's going on with them. See the three of wands. The page of cups and the ten of cups. Wow. This, <laughs> this person has a lot of emotions for you and I feel like I, I, I was saying that I think, is it in Gemini's reading? But it, I mean, they, it's the Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, you know? Um, a lot of love, a lot of love, a lot of emotions. It's like this person really feels like, you know, they could have the ultimate happiness with you, but there's this procrastination that's happening at the moment, um, holding back on that, waiting. It, I feel like they, they're seeing this like as something in the future, like, um, again, like the potential, right? Like, yeah, you know, that is going to be in my future. That is something that will happen, but 
yeah, eventually they're going to have to take action on it in order for it to happen, though. Um, it feels like, like they're planning for it. But I'm not sure if, you know, they're really planning for it or are they using the planning, the planning as a means of procrastination? Because then we have the Five of Swords. That's why I'm saying that. So let's see the Five of Swords. The Ace of Swords and the Empress. They know what the truth is. Um, I feel like they are, you know, it's like they are taking action, but again, it's like the action I feel is the inaction. Um, the procrastination where it's like they're losing at, at the moment, right? While they're doing that, they're losing their empress. The person that they feel is meant for them that could bring them this happiness. I don't know what it is. Let me get one more here. Um, that they're gaining from this procrastination or what they think they're gaining from the procrastination. I feel like, it, again, as I said in the beginning, I feel like they are learning something through this. Like there is some healing that's going on through this. Um, but it almost feels like, you know, they're getting dangerously close to, okay, you know, um, now is time, but then it just turns into straight out procrastination. Um, let's see. The Queen of Wands. So it could be that for some of them that there is another situation here that they are involved with. Um... where whatever that whatever's going on in that situation you know it could be what they you know don't don't feel as comfortable um giving up that could be what they think that they're gaining not having to lose um some other situation some other relationship some other person it doesn't have to be a romantic person necessarily um for some of them could even be a mother figure for example Let's see the Ten of Wands. Whatever the case, though, they're feeling like a huge sense of responsibility, which I feel, you know, they're getting close to releasing that in order to stop procrastinating. Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, okay. Um, that's actually really positive because it's like this person is um, beginning to focus on how they can go about releasing that burden, right? Six of Swords, they want to move towards something that is more peaceful, leaving that conflict behind, leaving that burden behind. And that's coming in with a lot of um, clarity. Clarity and firmness. So it does look like things are... Moving in that direction, it feels like it might be taking a little bit of time with all the um, procrastination, but it does look like, you know, they're at least setting out on that plan and putting an effort in that plan of moving forward from whatever it is that needs to be released here. All right, so let's see the full. Judgment and temperance <laughs> showing up again. All right, okay, so definitely a decision though, all right? Taking a leap of faith, moving that direction. Again, it does feel like with temperance showing up again as the last card out, um, it is taking a little bit of time, that's all. But there is a major um, discernment here that is being made, ultimately leading up to this leap of faith and you know, just trusting, trusting the path here. And it is coming in with a lot of healing as well. So, yeah, it does feel like, yeah, there is some procrastination, but there's also healing happening behind the procrastination. It's just that it, I feel like there could have been like an alternate, um, um, what's the word, like an alternate um, life here <laughs> or potential here where this person could actually um, move a little bit quicker and then still heal, but it's like they're choosing this way. Um, 
where it's like, you know, so it just means that when they take this leap of faith, they will be more healed than they would have been had they started this sooner. Um, but yeah, of course, you know, energies can shift. Nothing is written in stone. So yeah, that's, that's what I've got here. All right, Libra, this resonated. Let's see, the final message for you is passion and pleasure. Savor your life. So yeah, regardless of what's going on, all of this, you know, don't forget to um, have some pleasure in your life, to enjoy the little things. Enjoy what you do have. Um, and yeah, and remember that you are um, getting really, really strong here and discovering a lot of things about your own self, self-knowledge, right? It's a great virtue. Anyway, all right, Libra, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.